Road to GH reveals one of the greatest sorrows Alexis has ever faced, accepting that her beloved daughter, Sam, is gone forever. Initially, she refused to believe the harsh reality, her heart breaking at the thought that Sam would never return. Yet, time and reality forced Alexis to confront the inevitable. The pain not only overwhelmed her with intense emotional waves, but also left a deep void in her soul. Despite the heartbreak, Alexis' new life couldn't stop. She realized she still had her two daughters, Molly and Christina, who became her solace and motivation to carry on. It was her love and sense of responsibility for them that helped her rise again, even though the longing for Sam remained like an unhealed wound. Molly and Christina became not only her hope, but also the bridge that helped Alexis rediscover the meaning of life after such a devastating loss. Although she accepted the painful loss, Alexis was tormented by the unresolved cause of Sam's death. To her, losing her daughter wasn't just a family tragedy, but a lingering question without an answer. Night after night, Alexis replayed the events in her mind, wondering if she had missed something or, most importantly, whether Sam's death could have been prevented. Determined to uncover the truth, Alexis decided to file a lawsuit against the general hospital where Sam had been treated after surgery. She believed that medical negligence during her daughter's care led to her untimely death. For Alexis, this was not only a fight for justice for Sam, but also a way to find peace within herself. Through the lawsuit, she hoped to shed light on the errors and hold those responsible accountable. Alexis's decision to sue the hospital plunged Lucas into a state of sorrow and anxiety. As Sam's attending physician, Lucas had done everything in his power to save her. He had cared for her tirelessly and, despite his own reluctance, had agreed to Sam's plea for the surgery, hoping it would give her a chance at survival. However, the tragic outcome left him now facing accusations from Sam's family. Lucas could not bear the thought that Sam's death might be his fault. Nevertheless, the situation left him torn. On one hand, he understood Alexis's pain and anger after losing her daughter, on the other, he felt unjustly blamed for his efforts being overshadowed. Lucas carried a profound sense of failure and helplessness, not only because Sam didn't survive, but also because this event had fractured his relationship with her family. As tensions escalated, the hospital officially stated that Sam's death resulted from surgical negligence by Lucas. This announcement hit Lucas like a devastating blow, plunging him into despair. While he firmly believed he had done everything possible to save Sam, he now found himself accused of being the direct cause of her death. Lucas endured not only the heartbreak of her loss, but also the damage to his honor and integrity. The accusations from the hospital made him the target of anger, not only from Alexis, but also from the public. He felt powerless against the situation, as his efforts to uncover the truth and defend himself seemed futile. Meanwhile, the true cause of Sam's death remained unclear. This ambiguity not only left Lucas wronged, but also drove his relationship with Alexis to the brink of irreparability. Lucas was trapped in a whirlwind of doubt, pain, and isolation, feeling as if his entire life was crumbling. Deep down, he longed to prove his innocence, but the path to doing so seemed shrouded in darkness. The mystery behind Sam's death remained unresolved, but faint clues began to suggest that the case wasn't merely a matter of medical error. Behind the hospital walls, a complex conspiracy appeared to have been orchestrated to cover up the truth. It seemed someone had collaborated with another figure, possibly someone with authority or close ties to the hospital, to eliminate Sam. But why was she targeted? Did she stumble upon something dangerous, or was she simply a pawn in a larger scheme? The hospital's decision to place the entire blame on Lucas might have been a calculated move to deflect attention and protect their image. Lucas, as the lead surgeon, was the perfect scapegoat. This not only shielded the hospital from scandal, but also concealed the discrepancies or shady dealings occurring behind the scenes. Moreover, Lucas, with his quiet demeanor and fragile state after Sam's death, became the easiest target for such an attack. However, the truth rarely stays buried forever. Some hospital staff began to grow suspicious, and Alexis, despite her grief, sensed something was amiss. Could they work together to unveil the truth? Who was the mastermind behind it all, and what was their motive? 
The story has only just begun, stay tuned for the unfolding truth.